Hi guys, it's Kelly from Fitness Blender and today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite smoothie. So a lot of times I use this for um, like alongside a light meal or as a snack or even as a way to satisfy a snack, uh, sweet tooth late at night. So it's all natural. Everything that's going in here is either whole foods or minimally um, offensive in terms of ingredients. So the way I do it is I put milk on the blades first and you can use whatever kind of milk if you want. Um, rice milk, hemp milk, regular milk, soy milk, almond milk, you name it. Just try to make sure um, that you're not undoing all the good you're doing with all those fresh fruits by picking a milk that has questionable ingredients in it. So put the milk on the blades first and then next um, put the bananas in there. And after these two are in there, I'm going to blend it so that I can add all of my um, frozen frozen fruits without jamming the blender. Otherwise, it gets a little messy. So, put these two in there. Put them in there. Hi, Katie. She always wants to be in the videos, too. Alright, so I'm going to blend this, and then I'll be right back. So now that my milk and my bananas are blended, I'm going to toss in the frozen fruits. So what I have here is raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. At this point, you can put in anything that you want to. And that's why smoothies are so much fun, is because they are really healthy as long as they're whole foods, as long as you realize that they do have calories. Um, a lot of times you can actually use these as meal replacement if they're stout enough. Um, so if you drink them uh, really flagrantly without really thinking about it, then they can result in weight gain. Otherwise, I mean, it's a good source of vitamins and they taste really great. So like I said, you can either throw in um, what I've got going on here or you can add oranges, mangoes, avocados make for a really delicious, uh, really creamy smoothie with a lot of healthy fats in it. Strawberries are another one of my favorites, um, but you're really unlimited. Whatever you like. Pineapple's good too. So I'm going to throw in my frozen berries, blend again, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, that is it. It's as simple as that. You can also add in all kinds of different things, like a little bit of vanilla, um, chia seeds, flax seeds, um, peanut butter, chocolate, if you want to get crazy. Um, there's all kinds of different ways that you can do it. Flavor it how you like. Cinnamon is really good. So that one's mine, and this one will be Daniel's, in case you couldn't guess. Um, one tip, well, these are really great kind of to-go um, meal, something to drink while you're driving to work or you're getting ready for work. I like to eat it from a bowl with a spoon just because that way I know mentally I've sat down and I've actually taken the time to kind of register that I've snacked or eaten or whatever. Otherwise I tend to eat it and then kind of want to eat again unless I've re let myself register that I've eaten that. So that is it. Looks like I need to make a little more smoothie for Daniel because this isn't going to work for him, you know, half size smoothie. Otherwise, uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs> oh, I accidentally put it back on. <laughs> Smooth.